Hello everyone, thanks for watching School of the American Rifle. We're going to do an AR-15 upper autopsy. This particular upper is from a member of the SOTAR Facebook group. It is a Palmetto State Armory pistol upper, or an upper for a short barrel rifle, but this particular upper is on a pistol lower. The main problem that the user is having is he was noticing some impact marks on the barrel extension inside of here, which I will highlight in a moment. I'm going to use a variety of gauges, but initially when he brought up the topic in our group, I assumed off the bat that he had a clocked barrel extension. So we are going to check that. I'm going to remove the bolt carrier group, charging handle. And what I do to ensure that the barrel extension is lined up is I use either my wit my Midwest uh, URR or my two unique LC barreling spud. Both of these devices have a sail on the top along with the teeth that engage the barrel extension. So if you have a barrel that doesn't sit true or a barrel extension that doesn't sit true in the upper receiver, this will tell you right away. One of the telltale signs that you may have a barrel extension alignment issue is if you look into the upper receiver, you can see impact marks on the edge of each one of the barrel extension teeth. I'm going to grab a punch and see if I can point to them. We have one there, there, there. And they're quite pronounced. And they go all the way around. The only spot you won't see is on here, and that's because the extractor on the bolt removes that lug, and it won't make contact there. So you can see they go all the way around. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Midwest URR. We're going to slide this into the upper. If it's built properly, the sail and the dimensions on the upper receiver will allow these teeth here to fully engage the barrel extension without any contact. Let's see what happens. Will not go in. So we'll try another one. We'll try the Midwest, I'm sorry, the two unique LLC barreling spud. Works the same way. Just to try to show that this Midwest rod doesn't have any damage or isn't inducing some kind of odd diagnosis. Again, will not go in. Going to take one of my uppers. I'm going to stay focused here. I'm going to show you what we should see when we're using that tool. So I'll set my bolt carrier group aside, my charging handle aside, and we'll take the same Midwest URR. goes. We'll take the two unique LLC spud and then it goes. We'll go back to the PSA. No matter how hard I hit or push, it will not go in. I don't want to jam it too hard because we're just going to peen up the lug some more. At times, you can take the bolt carrier group and try to use that in the same manner. The problem is, is the bolt head moves, so sometimes it'll jiggle around a little bit. And with this, what I get is a little bit of contact right where the damage is. And it's not easy to see on the camera, but I can feel it. You should have no contact at all when the bolt's doing this. It'll go in the battery once it attempts to lock up and the bolt will rotate. 
but you should have no contact as the bolt is passing through this area here. So that's the main issue with this gun. He was reporting accuracy issues. So I'm going to do a follow-up video showing some further inspection, but this is one of the main problems that uh, I noticed right out of the bat with this upper. So with this particular upper receiver group, either the barrel is the problem, and when they assembled the barrel extension assembly onto the barrel, things weren't timed right before, before they put the index pin in, or the upper receiver has a problem with the way the index pin notch was located or milled. It's also possible that when they assembled it, they over torqued something and damaged it, but normally when that happens, you'll have some issues where you can see really badly where the barrel extension is clocked poorly, and I don't see that here. So without doing full disassembly, it's hard to say what the actual cause is by trying a different upper or a different bolt. We may not be taking this apart because the owner is going to try to resolve this issue with Palmetto State Armory and see if they will remedy this. This is the third issue he's had with this particular upper. I believe he said it was replaced at one point due to mul multiple issues and I think the other time they said they found no problem with it. So pretty serious problem in my opinion just on the surface with the barrel extension being clocked. I'm going to do a follow-up video showing some further inspection using some of the gauges you see laid out on the table. Try to figure out why he's having poor accuracy beyond the barrel extension clocking that I've showed in this video. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching.